I did not realize that I was filming this video with a rubber band in my hand. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Skin with Anna. My name is Anna, and today's video it's a requested one by a subscriber. She sent me a message on Instagram, and I'm going to leave the message here. But basically, what she was asking about was my um, reviews about products that I have used or products that I know for baby skincare. And if you don't already know, I'm a mom of two boys and I've had my fair share. I've gone through a number of skincare products. So I'm just coming, to, just coming to review the ones that I have tried and the ones that have worked for me. And that is the reason for this video. To my new subscribers and those watching me for the first time, hi, you're welcome. I make content from Ghana and in Ghana, on my part of Africa when a lady delivers um, most of the time our grandparents or our parents or even the nurses in the hospital recommend a particular natural product that a lot of us use for our kids and that is shea butter this is original and refined shea butter and scented shea butter and this is what um, the, the, this one was recommended to me the first time by the nurse, that the midwife that delivered my first son. And I, have, I haven't gone back since. I used this on my kids the first three months of their lives judiciously. I use it as a head and body um, moisturizer. None of my kids have experienced eczema. So some people don't like shea butter because of the smell. Some don't like shea butter because it's, you know, it's shea butter. And shea butter, I think the Nigerians call it ori and we in Ghana we call it inku and that is what a lot of us use on the on the skins of our children and because of its natural state you don't have to worry about chemicals being added or anything that is going to irritate the skin of your children so with me my kids i use shea butter for the first three months of their lives i do continue to use it anyway but it's the only product that i use religiously on their skin for the first three months of their lives and I really love it. I love everything about it. Shea butter is one product that it is cheap, it's affordable, it is everywhere. I'm talking about the unrefined one. We have the refined one that has this um, whitish color and some have fragrances added to it. But this one, there is no fragrance, there is no refinement. The only refinement I'll say it went through is that I put it in this container and probably because it's not in an air-conditioned car. <laughs> so, Shea butter is one that I would always recommend to anybody to try on their kids. Unless your child is one that has reacted to shea butter and it doesn't sit well on your child's skin, then you can move on to another product. So after the first three months of my, of my first son's life, I moved on to trying Aveeno. And the only reason why I tried Aveeno was because I wanted to try something different. I didn't have any problem with shea butter. I still don't have any problem with shea butter, but I just decided to try something different. And in most mother care shops in Ghana, we are told that the Avino, we have different types. We have the type from the US and then we have the type from the UK. And um, I started off with my I started off with my son with the UK brand. And for some reason, at a point, she wasn't stocking up on that particular one, so I had to get the US type. And then when I did, my son reacted badly to it. He broke out, he had rashes all over, he had small, small blisters all over. Let's take him to the hospital. Um, some people were saying because it was a fake Avino that we got, but it was just so bad. And I, I tried hard to get the, the UK type, that is the type that I used to get for him, but it was nowhere to be found. So um, with him, I stopped using, I stopped trying for Avino, you know, because of that experience that I had. But then again, I, I think I'll call this familiarity. When my second was also three months old, when he was turning four months old, I also decided to try Avino again. And then I went back to that first vendor, but she didn't have the UK type. She only had the US type. I think for a very long period of time, Avino UK was scarce in some parts of Ghana. So um, she only had the US type. So I decided I wasn't going to buy it because I just didn't want to risk it. But I found another vendor online who had the who claimed she had the UK type. So of course I got it from her and oh my god. It was the fake Avino. Like fake UK Avino brand. The packaging was different, the smell was different. There was just something different about it. But you know, I didn't pay attention to it because I felt like uh, because it had been a very long time since I bought Avino, they had done some kind of rebranding. I was so wrong. My son experienced the same thing that my first experience with blisters and rashes all over. I just, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So I just decided that I was not going to buy Avino again until I get that UK type from that particular vendor. 
or I buy directly myself from the UK from a trusted um, mother care shop in the UK but on the whole if you get the original Avino you are assured that your child is going to have a well moisturized skin it leaves the skin of your child so supple it smells so good if you get the original Avino so Avino is one product that you can try a lot of babies and toddlers or kids tend to have eczema so if you want to treat eczema we have the um, Avino brand that's specifically for eczema so you can get that as well also shea butter is really good um, in treating and preventing eczema I think that is the reason why my kids never had eczema because I have been using um, shea butter on them so if your child is suffering from eczema you can try shea butter or you can try the Avino um, eczema brand or your doctor would recommend a product that you can purchase from the, um, the pharmacy to treat or to clear their um, baby eczema so as my first child started growing at a point he developed dry skin and I, I have no idea where it came from but based on my research it happens with a lot of children and because I had moved on from um, Avino the shea butter wasn't moisturizing his feet not no his legs his legs really really well so I had to find something and then I found this Cetaphil so I have been using Cetaphil for my child and I love it. It hydrates and moisturizes his skin. Hydrates that is to provide water and then moisturizes the skin that is to, prov to provide some kind of oily um, surface or oily protection over my son's skin because he has dry skin. And this one contains no fragrance. It's lightweight but it hydrates and keeps his skin so supple and I really love it. And because of that, I got the Cetaphil baby for my baby. So I use this for the older one, and then I use this for the younger one. The younger one's own contains organic calendula, um, sweet almond, sunflower oils, and is hypoallergenic. So my baby has not reacted to it in any way. With my baby, I do alternate this one with shea butter. Also with my elders, I also sometimes alternate with shea butter. But so far, this is the product that I am loving for my children with Cetaphil. Some people also recommend using CeraVe, CeraVe Baby. It is also hydrating. Actually, I have not tried it, but based on the poll that I made and the inquiries that I asked from a lot of moms around me, they also said CeraVe also works for them in hydrating their baby's dry skin. So you can either go for CeraVe or you can go for Cetaphil. I can vouch for Cetaphil because that is the product that I have tried. So we all know Johnson's Baby Lotion as a popular skincare brand for babies and for children. I love the fragrance of Johnson, but Johnson's Baby um, Lotion, they do not or it does not hydrate or moisturize or keep my babies, my kids' skin supple. I don't know if it is the... <laughs> I don't know if it is the skin type of my children, but Johnson's doesn't work well for them. So I had a number of Johnson's baby lotions. This is the bedtime brand and this is the, I think the normal one. This is the original baby softness. I had this type for them. I used it one or two type on both the elders and then the smaller ones and it did not moisturize their skin enough. Their skin still felt dry after a few hours. So I had to stop using it on them and I just use it on myself. So the DM that the lady sent me on Instagram was asking about Macari Baby, but I have not tried Macari Baby before. But I do know a mom who swears by Macari Baby. She says it's a really good product for her baby skin. I'm yet to try it. I don't know if I would, but if I do try Macari Baby, I will come and give my review on that as well. Moving on to the next product that I have tried for my kids before, and this is Little Angel. So this is the Little Angel Head to Toe Wash. And then the Little Angel Body Lotion. I don't have the product here, so I'm leaving a picture over here for you guys. So I got Little Angel because I was buying their diaper and then I came across their um, wash and then lotion. So of course, I have to give it a try and I love it. So, so far right now, this is the body and shampoo wash that I am using for my kids. And then I use one bottle, like because there are two, I use the same thing for both of them. And the one bottle, I think I use it for about a month or a month and a week or a month and two weeks. So it's, it's really last. And I use it on two children, they bath two times a day. <laughs> so it really lasts. I love the smell. The Little Angels Body Lotions Hydration or Moisturizing um, Capacity is just like the Cetaphil Baby. It is not so um, heavy. It's really, really lightweight, but 
it keeps your child's skin hydrated throughout the day so if you want to try little angels and um, baby lotion you can also give it a try and then coupled with or together with their hair to toe wash or their um, bubble bath because our babies are in diapers we always have to use diaper cream around their nappy area and for my kids with their diaper cream i use shea butter again and i also used to have the dove nappy cream i'm going to insert a picture over here i used to use that as well that one i did not really see the effectiveness because i was so used to shea butter keeping that side so and keeping their nappy area so supple so i didn't really see the effectiveness of dove but i only carried it when i was going out and i just didn't want to carry shea butter with me i don't know why but that was the only reason why i was carrying it and i had to use it so many times because i wanted it to finish i did not really enjoy using it but i just i don't know but for me for my kids nappy area I've always been shea butter and it will always be shea butter when it comes to baby shampoo i use the johnson's bedtime baby shampoo or my little angels and um, head to toe wash <laughs> So I use a, I, I use a Johnson's Baby Bedtime Shampoo. I use it any time of the day. It's called bedtime, but I use it from any time of the day. It's made with lavender, so I just love the smell. And it foams so well on the eyes. Using it, their hair doesn't feel dry. That's one thing I love about it. So I always use the Johnson's um, Baby Shampoo. With Johnson's, I prefer getting their shampoo for uh, my baby. Or sometimes their body wash, if I have it. But for now i'm using the little angels for their body wash and also as a shampoo and also the johnson's bedtime baby shampoo as their shampoo right most now. of the time in ghana for baby shower gifts or gifts as yeah or gifts our grandparents or parents give to us when we have babies they, they pile us with a lot of baby powder and i have about six bottles left right now and based on my research and based on recent findings babies do not need baby powder in fact baby powder is considered dangerous to the health of your baby if it goes into the lungs of your baby it can cause a lot of medical concerns so babies don't need baby powder i did not realize i was filming this video with the rubber band in my hand thank you all so much for watching if i do try the makari baby as either i will come back again with another review for you if you did enjoy the video don't forget to click the like button subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me and i'll see you in my next video